Good morning, it's bright and early here in Quran, Philippines. It's about 7.15 and I'm here at my favorite restaurant just getting myself a spot of breakfast because in about an hour's time, I'm gonna be diving. And I'm gonna be diving on World War II shipwrecks, which is incroyable, no? The Quran is famous for its sunken Japanese World War II shipwrecks and I don't know, I think there's about a dozen around the island. Today I'm doing just three and I'm paying 2,800 pesos, which is a really reasonable price. Start your day with a nice cup of three-in-one. A hearty, nutritious breakfast. I've gone for fried rice, egg and vegetables. This is who I'm diving with today. Disaster has struck, some really unfortunate news. Apparently the boat that I was supposed to be going diving on is broken down, so I will not be diving the shipwrecks after all. But the helpful people here at the dive shop are just seeing if they can get me onto a island hopping tour for the day so that I still have something to do otherwise. I'll have no plans. An island hopping tour was my second choice anyway. It's a shame that I won't get to dive with the wrecks, but Quran isn't going anywhere. And if I go on the island hopping tour today, there is a couple of wrecks that are visible from snorkeling, so I'll see if I can get down there. But, um, unfortunate, but these things happen, so we'll see how I can sort out this day. So instead of doing a day of diving, I'm doing the Quran Ultimate Tour, which has got some really cool stuff. The nice ladies at the dive shop have also provided me with some fins and a mask, um, which otherwise I'd have to rest for the day. So it's not all bad, it's really disappointing because I did really want to dive on the wrecks. It's kind of why I came to Quran. But this Ultimate Tour, it looks pretty good and I've heard good stuff, so it's not all bad. These things do happen, you can't control it, and I'll be diving somewhere else. Not sketchy at all, we're using two people as a handrail who are holding a piece of bamboo. I'm sure that'll be fine, perfectly safe. First up on the Quran Ultimate Tour, Sierra Picados, which is a marine park, which is a good snorkeling spot, I'm told. First snorkeling stop was awesome, as always. Getting kind of tiresome, actually. The second place we're heading to is Kayagan Lake. So the town of Quran, where the boat goes into where I'm staying, is actually on an island called Busuangu Island, which is confusing because the island that I'm now on is Quran Island, where Kayangan Lake is. Just 367 steps, nothing I can't handle. Look at that view, so stunning. This is Kayagan Lake, beautiful. <laughs> Look what we just found, some kind of crazy lizard. I'm gonna see if I can find out what it is. But it's massive. It's like what, three or four foot long? Yeah, mate, it's Godzilla's it's big. sister. Yeah, Godzilla's sister, I like it. Kayagan Lake was super pretty and really, really chill. Now we're just uh, back on the boat waiting for everyone else to join before heading to our lunch spot. the beach where we'll be having lunch and honestly I can't think of a much better place. Just had a nice lunch, a uh, nice little buffet lunch and now chilling on the beach, gonna go for a little swim because I need a wee. Cheers! <laughs> mm -hmm. Delicious. We are here at Skeleton Wreck so I'm gonna get my snorkel mask on and try and find this sunken Japanese World War II ship. Not quite as good as diving, but I'll do my best to see what I can. Well, the skeleton wreck unfortunately was not all that impressive. You couldn't see too much from the surface and I did dive down a little bit, but even when you got kind of close it just looked like Something that was covered in crap, really. Not much that was visible from the depth that I could get to anyway, which is a real shame because I was hoping to see a cool few wrecks here on Quran, which is the wreck diving capital of the Philippines. As the second best goes, it's not too bad. It's still pretty beautiful. <laughs> Hello. 
We are now at Twin Lagoons. Once again, perfect picturesque location. It's breathtaking. I don't even know what to say about it anymore. I've run out of describing words. Twin Lagoons was definitely my favourite, super super beautiful and really reminded me of Halong Bay. Managed to find a spot where I can get the Quran sign, the Hollywood of the Philippines. Just got back to my hostel after a fab boat trip today. It was really really nice seeing the sights that Quran had to offer. Pretty similar to El Nido but a little bit different so it was still worth the money. It's still a massive shame that I didn't get to see the World War II wrecks but I'm sure if the time is right I will come back again because the Philippines is seriously one of my favourite countries and I can't imagine not coming back here. If you did like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can find my other social medias down below and I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.